Okay, hello everybody, Hi. Carolina. We are live again. Yes. And this is our second YouTube live event, right? Yeah. Very good. And we're very happy today to be able to, to present and to welcome among us the great violinist. Andre Baranov. Andre Baranov, wonderful. We have been waiting for him for weeks, but we are very happy and we're very proud to have him here. He's sitting right there with us. Yes. Yeah. And it was weeks of preparation and we were pre pre preparing different things, right? Not only with the violin. For example, a few days ago, we did something very exciting. Can you yes. tell Can you tell everybody what we did a few of days course. ago? So we went to the forest to find some mate material. Material, say it was pedagogical material. I don't know how to say that. Well, <laughs> it's a material, some material. Yeah, um, to, for the violin. Um, so it was cold, but yeah, I mean, there was snow. <laughs> it was snow because we're yeah. in winter, right? Yeah, we had fun. And what we did, we were working on sound production. So we went to the forest and we'll show you now a little clip of what we did to find some uh, pieces of wood, some sticks, some branches, which we took from the tree to try to understand the similarity between the flexibility of a branch and the flexibility of the bow that we used to play on the violin, right? So I think we can do that first, Carolina. Yeah. Would you like that I'd like to talk a bit more? Because last time you complained that I never let you talk, that I was talking only myself. Yes, but Would I don't like want to, to talk about it. You're not very inspired today? I don't know. Oh, okay, very good. <laughs> so uh, I will, we will introduce this little, this little clip, and then we'll go to the first piece of the program. Uh, so have a look at that, and very soon we'll introduce also what is the first piece of the program. So enjoy. Okay guys, so today we do something different. We're going to go to the forest and we're going to search some pedagogical material for our violin lessons. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Are you coming with us? Let's go. Okay, and this was our preparatory work yes. during these days. Now we are ready to introduce the first piece 
which is the Isai sonata number three called Ballad. Oh, really? Yeah? So we prepare also a little introduction of the piece and we go directly to the lesson. Yeah? So have fun, everybody. Eugène Isai was one of the most prominent violin virtuosos from his time. As a composer, his six sonatas for solo violin, Opus 27, composed in 1924, are amongst his most creative and significant contributions to the solo violin repertoire. Isai's six sonatas for solo violin are masterpieces of the genre. Each sonata is dedicated to a contemporary violinist, including several of the composer's most admired colleagues and friends. Each sonata reflects the performance style of the violinist it was dedicated to. The third sonata, titled Ballade, is dedicated to George Enescu, and in this single movement fantasia, one senses a specific nod to the Romanian violinist in the passion, complexity, and furious virtuosity. Today, David Ruiz will be working on the sonata Ballade with the great violin virtuoso, winner of the Queen Elizabeth competition, Maestro Andrei Baranov. Good luck, David.
First of all, uh, let's see if I can show something. But I, we need more legato, yeah? Here. Not. Yeah, not by two. It's really something very, very smooth going up from, from nothing, yeah? So try legato first. Try directly here. It's really one not speed. So you just when you work you think to separate the, the hands, yeah? So it's not affecting that. And just the end, this is good. Not so not to drop, yeah? Every every step is a bit more loud. Maybe only here. If you want, you can you can make little like slower bow to keep longer, but but in general to keep progression, yeah. Try from here. change but bit to separate legato yeah it's somehow possible yeah to find really connection so it's not stopping mm. crescendo
so it's really really nice so i think you have to work on the first line after for oh, after yeah it's really no problem it's like improvisation the general music is very nice what you do i think you should not uh, forget about very very fundamental uh, principle of violin playing here that uh, the string will not sound if we leave the bow on the string yeah there are always it takes break so every pose and every beat here in the hole will sound with a nice ending the note when the note is like this not like this like this is ah uh, and stop with this yeah you know that we talked about this before so every pose you have take off your bow quietly you have time yeah plenty of time directly after maximum again don't don't rush try to get the the music back yeah so it's, it's really long yeah one two yeah your tempo i don't know Don't get uh, too much thinking about it. 
I want you to play beautiful, yeah? So, it's just not a... I think this finger is a bit difficult for you. So you try. Phrase again. Uh, how is it? 
sounds really loud, but then weak. This somehow we have to do something, yeah. So so it's really loud. This fortissimo is there. We still want to do, and after. Sounds a bit again with crescendo in the not one one line but a lot of this I don't know little balls too mm. much yeah. Even, 
even longer and more second notes.
so good, even he wrote Legato here. And you know what he writes in the beginning before the sonata here? Himself, Isai. That uh, all the great violinists who plays this piece, all the violinists, yeah, they allow to do whatever they want, like they want personally. But in general, he really says that it's very good to see how he wrote because he wrote every every little detail. So uh, if he writes legato and you don't want to do it because you want to do it uh, louder, I don't think personally that is good uh, and it's important here to separate, but it has to sound as legato, yeah, as I show. So try now one line from piano and no accents, so we go until the end.
yes and no. Because it starts already, yeah, it's mezzo forte in hero. So it doesn't go on. Yeah. Ta -da, ta -da. 
Yeah. Not only this, but also Sara and Liara. <laughs> But to make it better, try, yeah? Because when you practice, don't do the lineage, as we said. Now you do this, this rhythm, but like this. This is not powerful enough. Yeah? I almost, in tempo, it is, it's very, very fast. I almost don't take off the ball. Something is there, yeah, to make the accent. Yeah. Again, music there. No. My bad. Crescendo. For you, two crescendo now, for exercise. Taram.
я из Италии. Sound if you play open. 
dos, tri.
your change for Leonardo, please. change the sound completely. Dolce maybe a little bit fluid on the fingerboard. It was a bit like normal sound. Shouldn't shouldn't be normal here, yeah? No, on, on the fingerboard, on the fingerboard.
sure practice like this. And now your bowings, but but sounds like legato.
Slide ball. Not too fast. Beautiful. Good inclination.
better now, but it's really pity if you go really small in the middle. Mm -hmm. yeah? It's it's not so effective. It's just fast and small. It has to stay powerful. Yeah, try to stay from here. Yeah. <laughs>
For me, most important musically, mm -hmm. you know where to go and go until the end. Okay. And very important, the tema. And the, the key there for me is no demand, yeah? Mm -hmm.
but you try after. And this will be much better. So you trim, so you will just trim it until I don't know when. Everything will be fine. So let's do A minor.
turn to each other, yeah? So we have good, nice ensemble. Put your violins and violas up and nice one.
play, let's play. Um, but uh, Joan, don't forget that this is just a viol, yeah? it's not something <laughs> so important. You were accompanying all the time so, so much, David. <laughs> You, you need to play much more solo, yeah, the, the, when you have solo, somehow when David plays solo is very good accompaniment, but when you start, you don't change enough, yeah, it's, it's a bit, uh, it's great that you are so great uh, ensemble and everything, but we need much more violin, the solo play, yeah, from you, the, you're completely, completely even, yeah, here, but it's very good that you're so careful, it's very easy for you, yeah, just take over all the time. And uh, for me, more very important that uh, after you play so fast and like virtuoso one after the other variations, when you come to very beautiful middle one, yeah, the slow, uh, first of all, you take at least there some time together before, not the same. This variation, this, this, and then tap, tap, tap. But at least here you take more time, and this is really the middle of the piece, and really beautiful. Also, there it's not enough legato, yeah, it's really beautiful when all the voices connecting with the beautiful legato, particularly in, in the end, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, one part before the end of this variation. But ta, di, di, ra, di, di, yeah. Everything you got to try will be much more difficult. And in general, you can play super fantastic. Practice a little bit more, a little bit more slow for ensemble, the, the quality, everything, and it will be really great. This piece, everybody will love it. So, more so. to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for Sources differ as to when exactly Paganini composed his violin concerto number one. Dating Paganini's works is complicated by the fact during his life, Paganini sought to keep the techniques of his fantastic virtuosity secret by withholding the majority of his compositions from publication. The concerto certainly dates from the mid to late 1810, when Paganini was establishing himself as Italy's leading violinist. For Paganini's contemporaries, there was almost something miraculous about his playing. 
His music was unlike anything anyone had heard before. So difficult, so extravagant, that no one else could play it. In his later years, when Paganini toured Austria, Germany, France, and England, his romantic northern European critics would hear something demonic in his extraordinary abilities, playing into centuries-old legends of violinists who sold their souls to the devil. Joanna Steve will perform the second movement of the Paganini Violin Concerto No. 1 for Maestro Baranov. We welcome Maria Baranova on the piano.
So it's um, very good, beautiful, but I suggest a few things. Uh, for the music, it's very important. I think that your two characters here, yeah, they like general, of course, there are many characters, but when you play piano, it's not sounding pitiful, it's still beautiful soprano or I don't know who tenor singing on the stage not that I need to I don't know it's a uh, really present nice piano del canto yeah I understand this is it's it's never like pitiful and a little girl little boy singing it's aware to her mother or something yeah for piano sometimes it's not the not the right character for Paganini and for forte, it's opposite problem that uh, you play really like a soldier sometimes. It really has to be legato again, yeah, del canto, like one phrase, uh, like really singing and like toki, toki, toki. Even you cut all the bows, doesn't matter. I, I don't care what you cut, but when he writes, he writes, he writes, he writes, he it's like, sometimes, yeah, students don't do enough contrast, and not students, everybody, yeah, but this, uh, for this is like, overdose of like, contrast, it's really too much, it's always, with all the character has to stay really singing and legato, yeah? Let, let's try. First note is wonderful, very, very long. I heard one few words before that we gave. It's great. But let's keep. Try now the piano from the re, do, si, di. Keep the intensity in the sound like we spoke in the first moment, yeah? Si, do, di. A bit more maybe close to the bridge, yeah? Take, take the tension of the bow a bit less, but try to keep the more of the bridge so it's really nice for getting the sound. Not something like baroque, pitiful. Ta, 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 yeah? So just, just, yeah. vibrato will help here even piano not relax yeah try to find something directly Mm -hmm. Again, two. And 
not but intensity on the sheet yeah there are three that yeah Oh, possible. 
just to find coordination. Yeah, I don't know. Not that. Yeah. Oh, 
suggest uh, for the phrasing yeah it sounds I don't think it's yeah it's first with crescendo then I see everything good you stop the bow everything and no sound Just separate yeah when we connect, yeah, it's better. Praise. But too much, too much, too much. You praise and everything. Just for the phrasing.
question, not very well done passage. Let's try maybe to keep uh, the melody, yeah? But thing is still melody like yeah really how they sing yeah Yeah. 
from up. Thank you. 
Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>